Yeah, right. Oh, teeth, there's teeth. Well, is... there's there's teeth marks in her arm, so I'm not sure if the mouth guard's shaped like teeth, but yeah, there's um there's a fair bit of blood and teeth marks. So before we get started, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who has subscribed or left a comment. You are clearly more attractive than the average wig fan and judging from the caliber of your comics you're 99% more intelligent than the rest of the internet so thank you i'm honored stoked and chuffed to have you here and i fear dinkum appreciate all of you fear dinkum cut him in half right oh Enough mucking round, let's get into it. Down on the hand, okay, so she's off. We start with the ladies. Now, like you, I love a good cat fight. Yeah, baby. But when it comes to biting, that's just not groovy. No, baby. That's exactly what Ashley Werner did to Sidney Roosters wing Jamie Fraser. Did, there's a biting accusation here. It was Warner's debut game for the Broncos. Around this angle or so it. As Werner is on the ground, let's have a look at the arm of Frezard and what happens here. Yep. She became the first woman to be sent off in NRLW history. Well, the bunker's seen enough. As yep. Werner has been called out. So the bunker's reviewed it. All right, the hand, the hand goes into the mouth and she clenches down on the hand. Okay, so she's off. Some people have qualified Werner's actions or saying Frizzo's arm was in her face. It's a hard one because she had her arm over her mouth for an extended period of time. But I mean, that shot there speaks volumes, doesn't it? On debut for the Brisbane Broncos. Full Gold suggested that she was wearing a mouth guard. So he was unsure how much it would have hurt. Amazingly. Werner has pleaded not guilty to the charge. Who had it? A father. You didn't have no blue cake? No. Yes. You didn't have no blue cake at all? No. Yes. Okay. Broncos coach Scott Prince said Frizzard may have been mistaken with her claim. You know, I guess from the vision, it, it sort of doesn't look that good, but, um, you know, anytime a arm or a hand is you know around someone's head and in contact with the teeth you know known from experience it actually feels like someone's you know maybe sort of biting at you she's got a mouth guard in um you know just a bit of contact with the teeth it obviously would have looked like and felt like it was a bite but you know we'll have to look and i mean if there's marks we'll we'll have to i guess trust trust her judgment and roosters coach john strange had this to say. Um, yeah, Frezzy's arms has got a few teeth marks in it, but... Um, Have you spoken to her about that incident? Yeah, yeah, she's not too happy, but that's, uh, you know, we'll leave that up to the judiciary to deal with that. And uh, Yeah, and she's she's adamant she did feel teeth. I know we certainly had um, Scott Prince here saying that it, sometimes it's difficult and a, and a, a mouth guard can feel like... Yeah, right. Um, no, there's teeth, teeth, well, it's... there's there's teeth marks in her arms, so... I'm not sure if the mouth guard's shaped like teeth, but yeah, there's, um, there's a fair bit of blood and teeth marks, so. I reached out to former Australian great and kangaroo Paul Suriman for his opinion on what would happen to a biter in the men's game. Gontar loses it backwards, but regathers, and he's off. Patrick Gontar throws the dummy, but Suriman hauls him in. Now Paul Suriman's going to be called out. He looks as if he's signalling that he was bitten. Suren lifting his hand, obviously showing that his finger has been interfered with in some way. Let's have a look at this closely. On tar underneath Suren, Suren's hand. Wow, said Suren. This footage came from 1990. The second test kangaroos versus France. And funnily enough, it was famous for the brandy backflip. And since round 21, has seen an abundance of backflips. Reese Walsh! Under the post, a backflip! Perfect landing! With first, Reese Walsh. Flips through, scores a try, uh, uh, uh. he does a backflip! And then, Katoni Staggs. 
Oh, so the Jack Brandy's care as well. This is the tackle. Now it's Alexander. Clears face down the wing. No one in front of him. Kassir coming across. He won't get there. Can Fraze make another tackle? Fraze has missed Alexander this time. Fraze couldn't make another great tackle. And Alexander comes around behind the post to make it Australia 12, Franceville, and Alexander. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know he had that in him. So who did it best? Reese? Tony. Ooh, Greg. I couldn't say au revoir to that little French excursion down memory lane. Open spaces. Bouzet, the winger, Alain Bouzet, came across trying to uh, get to lines, but uh, couldn't stop the support play. Without one more treat. I'll leave it to Bing Mal Meninga to add the extras. Mal Meninga is going to take the goal kicks today, and this one is right in front. Some thought that Greg Alexander may take the kicks. And it bounces off the post. Well, I thought that Mal Meninga uh, with that one simply couldn't miss. Oh well, you can't have everything. Fairdinkum cut him in half. 